Okay guys, uh, slight miscalculation on my part has, uh, has left me with fewer terminals or lugs um, than I actually have. I anticipated this probably happening, you know, measure twice, cut once, uh, didn't do that. So what I did was, is before I came up here, I stopped by Home Depot and I picked up some 3 8 copper tubing. Um, now I'm still using 2 gauge wire to connect the, uh, the two new batteries that I brought up because I didn't get uh, the crimper that I ordered. I didn't get it yet and the crimper that I'm using here it's a great crimper. It's very old. Um, it doesn't go up to uh, 2 watt. So for now, this is temporary. I got to make some uh, two gauge cables for the, the new two new batteries that I uh, brought up. Um, so I have to make my own terminals, my own lugs. Um, and I saw somebody do this on YouTube and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Um, basically, I cut some pieces of copper tubing uh, about the same length as a regular terminal and um, basically you, uh, you take your cable you put it in up to the point that you've stripped it and uh, you gotta have a bench vise or I guess you could use a hammer but it's a lot easier with a vise um, you just set it inside the vise and and you uh, you start crushing it and it will make a fairly decent copper terminal um, it'll work just fine on your uh, solar power system so I really I really squish it pretty good okay so take that out So it's it's close to the right shape. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shape it a little more just so it, it fits a little better in the crimper. Uh, I'll put it in sideways here, and I'll just give it a little squeeze to kind of straighten it out a little bit. Um, and you can shape them real easy here in the vise. Just a little bit of pressure, and uh, it'll work just fine. Okay, so it's roughly uh, the shape and size of a of a factory terminal. Um, I take some cutters and just uh, nip off the corners so it's not so sharp. And uh, it actually works pretty good. So there you have it. There's a terminal. I'm going to get my drill now. Just drill out the hole to the size you need. And there's your terminal, homemade from uh, 3 8 copper tubing. This is only for uh, 2 gauge wire, 2, uh, uh, eight, what is it, uh, AWG, 2 gauge, okay. Um, they sell different sizes of this copper tubing at Home Depot. Um, I'm sure you can get, uh, well they definitely have a larger size, uh, which you could probably use for a larger gauge wire. Um, but this is what I got for the two gauge because again, I anticipated uh, probably making a mistake and not having enough of these and I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I can't just go back to Home Depot. The closest Home Depot is like two hours away. So um, you got to make do with what you got. Anyways, um, I'll, uh, I'll update you guys here in just a little bit as to what I've done and uh, and we'll go from there.